out on the weather patio now with a Civil War reenactment ban from Wisconsin. They're carrying on a tradition that started 130 years ago. Yeah, the 1st Brigade Band made up of more than 80 volunteers of all ages from all around the state. We've got a few of them here on the patio with us. We're going to play some tunes for us in just a moment. Members taking their music west next week, by the way, to beautiful Estes Park, Colorado, in the Denver area, if you guys aren't familiar with Estes for Park. Scott Fest. That's <laughs> right. We've got, uh, we got John Condon here and Ray Lewick. John's the bandmaster, right? Yes. John, tell us a little bit about, first of all, for those that don't know the 1st Brigade Band, what you guys are all about and how you kind of got together to do this. Well, it's the collection that brings us together. Mm -hmm. All of these instruments are original antiques from the Civil War. They've been uh, restored and or brought to this nice playing condition over many, many years. Wow. More than 50 years that the band's been in existence. Oh, wow. And what kind of music do you play? We play only music that was heard during the Civil War era, which could be anything from classical to a lot of religious music, mm -hmm. called church music, uh, marches, quick steps, polkas, whatever the, the audience would have required. And you guys, talk about some of the Civil War reenactments where you get together. Where are these occasions that you play? Well, we've been all over the tri-state mm -hmm. area, and we've got, gone out as far as the Virginia area, and this is representing this next week as a big thing because mm -hmm. the military tattoo is to show off on the field with other units at the same time. So we've upped our marching game a yeah. few bumps here and there. As an organization, though, we really do promote historic pre mm -hmm. presentations, and we will do more than just reenactments. We will mm -hmm. go into a community's um, uh, opera house mm -hmm. and, and do a full two-and-a-half-hour program. Oh, with musical music. anecdotes. And, yeah. uh, for instance, last week we were in... Mm. <laughs> Seneca. Seneca, thank yeah. you. Seneca, Illinois, uh -huh. for a nice reenactment that was outdoors, and it was just a wonderful time. You mentioned these are real, authentic Civil War era instruments. How did you get them? How yeah. did you come upon these things? Well, through, through antique stores, it used mm -hmm. to be go out and find the antiques, mm -hmm. and then also through families that are say, what is this thing that's in the attic? And sometimes <laughs> we'd show up at the, at the concert with a horn. I've got something that's from a ways back. Would you look at it, please? Uh -huh. Now, and that looks like some kind of bugle, but, Ray, what is that thing? Is <laughs> <laughs> it got a tuba? This is an E-flat over-the-shoulder tuba. Okay. Wow. And it is the kind of an instrument that represents what you would find in a military band during the Civil War Very because cool. all of the instruments would come in an over-the-shoulder configuration, so you could put the band in front of the column of troops and the music would go in, in back. Well, we're gonna get so, out of the yeah, way let, Let's get to the music and tell everybody yourself. the Scott Fest is next week in Estes Park, Colorado. You can watch a live stream of the bands on the band's website at firstbrigadeband.org or on their Facebook Facebook page. Thanks for coming, everybody. Take it Thank away. You. It's all you. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> 